Welcome back primary learners for another great term at LICS. I am so excited to see everybody back at school, working so hard, having fun in the playground. I've seen lots of you looking at the new reading nook, that special place outside my office that has been prepared for us by some of our parent representatives. And we're so grateful for all that hard work they did during the holiday while we were away all having fun. They were working hard getting that ready for you. Now, it's not quite finished yet. We still have one or two things to add to that space, but I'm sure you will have heard from your teachers that some children have started to bring books in from home to donate the books that they've finished reading at home so that they can share them with their friends at school in the reading nook. So thank you so much to those children who have already brought some books in. So I encourage you, if you've got a really great book, you've read it once, you've read it twice, you're ready to, to give that to, to Lix to donate it to us so that your friends can also read that book in the reading nook then that will be great. The reading nook, it's a quiet space. Take your shoes off, in you go. Sit and read quietly with your friends. And we will also make sure that you're able to use the reading nook sometimes with your class teacher or with your class teaching assistant during lesson times too. Now, um, you will notice that I am wearing my brilliant Lix Spirit Warriors t-shirt and I love wearing this t-shirt. It's a nice green one. There are some great white t-shirts as well that we can buy from school and each of you should have taken home your order form for these t-shirts. Please remind your parents, see if your parents would like to buy one of these t-shirts for themselves or for one of your brothers or sisters, or for you as well. Mostly biggish t-shirts, but they're really cool and they promote our lovely Lix school. So make sure that your parents fill out the order form and send the money to school with you so that we can put in a big order and get all those t-shirts and have everybody wearing them around school and out and about in Lusaka too. Good luck, of course, to our year six learners. They start their checkpoint exams today. They've already done one today by the time you're watching this assembly and they have five more exams next week in English, maths and science. So we wish them the best of luck. We know it's going to go really well for them. So next week is a three day week. We've got Thursday off school, no school on Thursday, no school on Friday. So you have a lovely long weekend coming up next weekend. For now, really enjoy this weekend. Have a great rest. Do some reading. Have fun with your family. Bye for now. Hello boys and girls. Today at Lix, we have celebrated Earth Day and well done for taking part. So what is Earth Day? Well, Earth Day takes place every year on April the 22nd. And since 1970, that's a long time ago, people all around the world have shown their support for the environment by becoming involved in Earth Day. Over 1 billion people in 192 countries will have taken part in celebrating Earth Day today. And the Leaks community, you boys and girls, have been part of it today. The reason we celebrate it is to create awareness of climate change and to protect the environment. So it's very important that you take this not as one of those noble activities we usually do in school, but to go home and think of a way in which you can make a difference. Well, what can we do? What can you do? What can I do? Well, you can start by planting a tree. Think about it. Go home and think about where, as a family, you can plant a tree this year. Or you can join a cleanup campaign. Where I live, there were young people the other day on the street going through the ditches and cleaning up the ditches. I was very happy to support them and 
give them a little bit of money for their lunch when I saw what they were doing. Perhaps you can think of that with a team of parents. Don't do it alone. Perhaps you can think about just doing a presentation to share with your community. Okay? So may come up with all the facts that you know about the earth and how that human beings are polluting this home of ours and then share it with the community so that they know the importance of looking after our environment. Well, the Student Council are going to share with you famous quotes from well-known and important peoples of the world. This is what they've said in recognition of the importance of Earth Day. Listen to these quotes. Nature's a picture for us, day after day, pictures of infinite beauty. John Ruskin. The earth is what we all have in common. Wind, winter berry. Time spent among the trees is never wasted. Enormous. The earth loves in flowers. Ralph Waldo Emerson. Nothing is more beautiful than the loveliness of the woods before sunrise. George Washington Carver. We have forgotten to be good guests, to walk lightly on the earth as its other creatures do. You cannot get through a single day without having an impact on the world around you. What you do makes a difference and you have to decide what kind of difference you want to make. Jane Goodall. You really can change the world if you care enough. Marine Wright Edelman. He that plants trees loves others besides himself. Like music and art, love of nature is a common language that can transcend political or social boundaries. Jimmy Carter.